Today we are going to talk about WordPress and Blogger Manager. Of course, we all know that a large number of websites founded on Blogger or WordPress for more than one reason. They are easy to use, they have a large number of plugins and courses, and also search engines know them, know their codes, and of course know how to archive them quickly. So we are going to talk about how to manage your articles, your pages, or products whether on Blogger or WordPress and how to inject products into them and convert them to e-commerce stores. Click on WordPress, login. You can watch the video here to learn the correct way to fill in the information. Put the website link, username and password. Go to the WordPress platform, members, your account. Scroll down to find the extension that you learned to add through the installation video. Enter the name of the new password and click on a new. A new password will appear. Copy it and put it here. Press login. You will find that your site has been added in this way. And these are its information. The link, username, products, WooCommerce plugin installation, site settings, and site delete. Click on set up WooCommerce to generate keys that enable the platform to fully control our site on WordPress. Set up WooCommerce will show you a place to add keys that we will get through WordPress. Go to WordPress, click on WooCommerce, settings, then advanced settings, and click REST API. Add key, add a description, AMC9. Select the user you would like to generate a key. Select a level of access for this API key. Select read and write access. Generate, copy, and paste. Save. These are necessary steps required of you to be able to use the services in WordPress section of the platform. First option is make post. Select the account. Title is test post. Write the content of the article in message section. Click post. Here you will find action and its status is processing. Wait for the article to be published. The service is WordPress. Our account and the result is success. Going to the articles, we will find that the last article is test post. View, it's the same article with the same content. The second service is manage post. Select the account, click manage, load my posts. It appears in this way and you can control every article by selecting it and delete it or selecting all articles and delete them or view them. You will be redirected to the article page. The article we selected has been deleted and no longer exists. After that, manage pages. This feature enables me to manage my WordPress site pages. Select account, manage, Click on load my pages. Wait a while for loading to complete. All pages have been added and can be controlled by selecting any page and delete it. Or preview the page via view. As you see, the page that I deleted is no longer present between pages. And through clear, this list can be removed. The next option is manage products. With it, I can control the products in WooCommerce on my shop. Select the account and click manage. I have several options. Load my products. It enables me to load all products on my store. Delete my products allows me to delete all the products on my store. Clear this list allows me to delete product list, but it's not removed from the store, only from this page. Delete repeated products allows me to delete duplicate products. Click on load my products and wait a little time for the products to load. After the products appear, you will find their details such as product ID, product code, product name, price, and through view, you can preview the product. When I click delete my products, all products in my store will be deleted. Through clear this list, the products on this page will be removed. Through delete repeated products, only duplicate products will be deleted. After that, bulk price option enables you to increase the price of all products or make offers and discounts. For example, this bag costs 180 Egyptian pound and I want to increase its price to 200 Egyptian pound. Select over price, type 20, change price so that all products are increased by 20 Egyptian pound. Go to WordPress, refresh, the price is 200 instead of 180 
Egyptian pound. Also, if you want to decrease the price of all products, do the same steps through discount option. Manage tags. Select the account, then click manage. These are all the tags of your site. You can preview any of them and see which products are linked with these tags. You can select tags and delete them or adding a group of tags once. Click add bulk keyword, add tags, let it be one, two, three, four. Click create. They have been added like this. And if you want to delete them, select these tags and delete. Then manage category. Select the account, manage, you will see all categories, so you can preview or select and delete them. Or you can add a group of categories once. Click on Add Bulk Categories and write 1, 2, 3, 4. Click Create. They were added in this way. And you can preview them by going to WordPress and Categories. As you see, they have been added successfully. You can delete them by selecting them and deleting them. Manage Media. Select the account. Manage. All your media will appear like photos and videos. From here, you can add alt tag. For example, choose this image and go to WordPress and search for it. This image doesn't contain alt tag. Back to the platform and enter alt tag. Then save. To delete an image, we select this image and search for it in WordPress. Here is the image. Go back to the platform and delete it. Back to WordPress, the image was deleted. Thus, we have learned everything about WordPress from controlling products, pages, articles, and media. In affiliates video, we learned together how to convert the site to an online store. And in YouTube's video, we have learned together how to convert the site to a video blog. Now, we're going to talk about Blogger. Choose Blogger and then Login. Choose your application, and if you don't have an application, click here and follow the video tutorial to create an application on the Blogger platform. After creating and adding the application to the platform, it will appear here. Select the app, login. Choose the account that owns the blog. Give it permissions. Account is added. Click on load blogs. Your blog will appear. Click on add this blog. First feature in Blogger is make post. Choose the account. The article's name is test post. Add the content of the article and message section. Test message from AMC. Link here. You can add a link to the article. After that, schedule post and date. Choose the date and time, then pressing post. But if you want to publish it at the same time, delete the date and time and click post. After creating the post, there is the action. You find the article name, the YouTube link, and the status is pending. Status now, success. Go to the blog to test what we did. The article was added with the same content and link. The next option is manage post, where articles can be managed. Select the account, manage, and click load my posts. All articles appear in this way, and from here, you can manage them. So you can delete the articles completely or delete specific articles. Select test one article and delete it. The article is deleted through view. You can go to the article and review it and you can clear this list or click on load my posts if you want to update this list. After that, manage pages. With that, I can manage my pages. Select account, manage, then load my pages. After all pages appear, I can control them such as delete any of them in this way. Go to blogger and the page was deleted or by click on view to preview the page. You can also click clear this list to delete this list or load my pages to reload the pages and see any update. The last feature in Blogger is post from YouTube. If you own a YouTube channel and a blog, you can link them so that any video of your channel will be posted on the blog after it has published on YouTube channel and your blog will be a video blog. But we will fully explain this feature in YouTube's video.